following statement on behalf of the OIC member states on the so-called notion of sexual orientation and the misinterpreted representation of the concept of gender identity in the context of human rights. We strongly condemn systematic efforts by a group of states to introduce the notion of sexual orientation in the UN system in general and in the universally agreed human rights framework in particular. We are concerned about the ongoing attempts to link the discrimination debate in the UN system to persons on the ground of their sexual interests and behaviors. We underline that our opposition to the earlier mentioned unrecognized notions extends to the calls to decriminalize relevant behaviors in national legislation. Such advocacy constitutes an intervention in the domestic affairs of states. It is con contingent upon the Council to demonstrate the requisite sensitivity to the different cultural and social common denominators among states. The issue of sexual orientation in the United Nations Human Rights System has not yet mustered consensus. This concept stands against everything we stand for in Africa. We believe in God. For the Western countries, it may be that it does not matter anymore. It touches on our own concept of woman, and we don't believe that any simulation of any kind, scientifically or otherwise, will bring forth anything called woman other than that we know that existed by God's creation. No culture of other group should be imposed on the other. Human Rights Council should remain a room for cooperation and genuine dialogue. Hence, we should protect this from against all threats of misconduct and incredibility. It's our common responsibility not to let the Council to, the, to be infected by this detrimental death.